with uh, Jesper Parnovec and uh, Jesper, welcome to Des Moines. Thanks a lot. Always nice to be here. You got cleaned up from uh, Michigan <laughs> and, and that tough shot you had. Yeah, that was something else. I don't know. I, I overturned the driver a little bit and I kicked down and I thought I had a good life. Uh, as soon as I walked in there, I felt it's going to be muddy. But I didn't <laughs> expect it to be that muddy. Yeah. I had about a pound of dirt in my yeah. face, in, in my ear and everywhere. So. Uh, you got you got cleaned up. Yeah, you were a good sport it about it. Took you a while. It took you about a week to get cleaned up. I think I saw a picture of you in the locker room after you cleaned up. You were a good sport about oh. it. Oh yeah, yeah. It was one of those things that <laughs> you don't want to happen, but it happens yeah. sometimes. Well, congratulations for your win in Houston. Thank uh, you. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. It had been a while. What? When you haven't won for a while, uh, and you're in the, in the hunt, what do you rely on? What you did before to get you through, or is it feel well, like you're? It's always. I mean, winning is always tough. I mean. Uh, Especially if you haven't won for a while, uh, the nerves going to be there and all that. And the game didn't feel that great, actually. But it's something about if you won tournaments before someone, it's, it's a little bit, it sounds strange, like biking or whatever. I, I would say the tough, when you haven't been playing well, the tough part is to get yourself into the position where you have a chance to win. I mean, once you're there, you get very focused and everything kind of kicks in a certain gear and uh, you go into your bubble and you pretty much stop trying to make swings, so you're just trying to score, and you know, try to make uh, get the ball in place somewhere, and um, sometimes it's enough, but uh, it was it was a lot of fun, it was not really expected, but um, it didn't feel like I won by four, put it that way, because those last few holes there is a lot of trouble. Um, here you're at the Wakanda Club, in the middle of the United States, mid, good old Midwest, yeah. and uh, you're playing a course, it's an old style course, 1922, what kind of feel do you get off this course? Uh, I mean, it, it, there are some blind shots, there are some sloping fairways and so on, so you get a, you, you know, you just pick your shot and you just go with it, because uh, it's going to be a few fairways, well, I mean, it's a little bit soft this week, so it's going to be easier to hit uh, the fairways now, but um, just don't try to do too much with it, because uh, it's easy to start trying to hook it into the slopes or cutting into the slopes a little bit too much, and um, just go with it and just accept you're going to be in the rough a few times. You guys are all great competitors, but the fact that you won recently, does that Take not some of the pressure off, is it? Are you more comfortable on the golf course? Eh, no. You know? I don't think any golfer is ever comfortable on yeah. the golf course. I mean, ask, it, yeah. ask any amateur and the same thing with a pro. You know, it doesn't matter what you've done. I'm sure that Jason Day, Jordan Spieth, or whatever, going to say the same thing. They went once you're there, you, you still see all the trouble, the yeah. white stakes, the water assets, <laughs> <laughs> and all that. So it's the same, you know, routine and so on. But of course, it's always nicer when, you, when you're doing well and so on. But um, no, it's the same thing. I can just do my uh, my normal routine, and um, hopefully that's going to be enough on Sunday. Well, Jesper, thanks for stopping by. Have thanks a great a week. Thanks a lot.